I mean, I'm ready. All right, so how do we get to this moment just now? Uh, you approached me on the street and yeah. asked if you could interview me on your YouTube. Yeah, and what's the subject matter? Um, feet and my feet and mental health. Right, right, right. How do you feel about the subject matter? Uh, I feel intrigued. Intrigued? And a little nervous. And a little nervous. Why are you nervous? Because I don't know how the two connect. Okay, I'll tell you how the two connect. Very relevant, relevant to you, you being nervous. Okay, so do you have a therapist? I do. You do. Have they ever taught you dialectical behavioral therapy? No. DBT? Okay, so let's say someone is suffering from anxiety. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say they have a fear of approaching strangers. DBT will advise you to go out and approach strangers and to do it over and over and over again, right? And then when you start to get nervous and feel those anxious feelings, you do a self-assessment and you ask yourself, Okay, in this situation, what's the worst that could happen? Mm -hmm. Is there a threat to my life? Is there a threat to my safety? Does the situation fit the facts of my feelings? Mm -hmm. In order, like, you know, if, you know, should I be afraid of the situation? Sure. If you shouldn't, then you apply what is called opposite action, which is to act opposite to those anxious feelings. And you just dive in, engage, and anticipate a positive outcome out of okay. it. Now, as it relates to feet, I'm a guy that likes women's feet, mm -hmm. and there are other guys out there that like women's feet as well. Some guys are nervous about telling women that because they're afraid of what the reaction's going to be. Yeah. So I do these interactions so guys can watch these videos and see how I apply DBT in mm -hmm. telling women about my attraction to feet and see how you react to it. So that's the, how the two connect. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Okay. What do you think about it? I think that you're going to ask me to take my shoes off at some point uh -huh. after a 12-hour shift, and it's Probably not gonna happen. So I wouldn't mind the situation. For me, doing these type of interactions and getting women to take off their shoes and socks, like spontaneously, is like a way of dealing with anxiety for me. Like it's it's a pleasant experience for me. Okay. So I understand it might be nervous. It might be how would how would you anticipate the situation happening? You taking your shoes and socks off. Can you imagine a positive outcome out of it? No, I can't imagine positive. Why not? Because it's gross. You think it's gross? Yeah, I've been working for 12, like 13 hours. Okay, so? You know, they're like, they're not in their best shape. They're uh -huh. a little soggy. Soggy? Yeah. You mean like sweaty? Yeah. Okay, so I mean, you air your feet out. They get to breathe and get some good air and I get some good content. It works out for everybody. Does it? <laughs> yeah, it really does. <laughs> Trust me, I've been doing this Ridiculous. for a long time. For about a year now. I've gotten up to 40,000 subscribers. Wow. There's a lot of people that enjoy these videos. That love feet. That love feet. And they love, love these love interactions. Huh? I don't know if they're going to love my feet. They'll love... You know what they'll love? What are they going to love? The fact that you're open-minded and willing to mm. participate. That's what they really love. Mm -hmm. Okay. So your, the condition of your feet is really like, okay, but what's really positive is you being cooperative to the whole situation <laughs> and helping... Mo helping the movement okay, move. Tell me more. How so? Tell you like what? I don't know. Like where are we going from here? Just to see your feet. Let's see your feet. I don't think I want to do that. You don't want to do it? What's the worst that can happen? I mean nothing. I mean my feet being on a YouTube video that uh -huh. 40,000 people see. Thousands of people are going to see it. Thousands. Thousands? And what if I got a bunch of thumbs down? You're not going to get thumbs down. I very well may. See, why, why think that? Why, why not think you're going to get thumbs up? Why well, think you're gonna get thumbs down? I can't think of my feet being on YouTube right now. I'm, I can't. I can't do it. You can't do it. I cannot do it. Okay. All right. Not gonna pressure you into it. So, then wrapping things up. What about just your shoes? Take your shoes off. Keep your socks on. I can take my shoes off. And keep your socks on. Keep your socks on. All right. Are we I'll doing take that. that. Yeah. Shoes off. Socks on. If that's comfortable for you. For one? Both of them. Oh, you have Both a nice arch. Oh, thank you. You have a really nice arch. Put your feet up here. You have a very nice arch. What size shoe are you? I'm a size nine. Size nine? How tall are you? <laughs> I'm five seven. Five seven? Lydia your legs out straight. Wow, you have a very nice arch. <laughs> yeah. Can you cross your feet over? Can I touch your feet? No. No? Why not? No, no, no. I don't like my feet being touched. You don't like your feet being touched? I don't want to touch my feet after a 12-hour shift. She keeps telling me what I don't want to do. I promise you. 
promise. Wait, wait, keep them now, keep them now, keep them now. Why? Because I want to... Is your big toe longer than the rest of your toes? What? Is your big toe longer than the rest of your toes? Okay. Yeah. So that's Egyptian feet. You have Egyptian toes. Egyptian toes. Yeah, you have a very nice arch. Thank you. Okay. So you don't like foot massages? Um, I do in the right setting. So in this setting? Not right now. Okay. All right then. You can't take your... Can we get one sock off? No socks off. All right. So wrapping things up, what did you think about this interview? It was interesting. It was interesting. Definitely not how I saw my night going on my walk home. All right. Was it a pleasant experience? It was pleasant. Okay. That's good. I'm happy it was pleasant. Is there anything about the interview that could have been better? you have any recommendations? Any uh, critiques, modifications I should make? I don't think so. No? No. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. Any parting words? That's it. That's it. All right. Take care. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.